New tonight, gunfire, screams, a terrifying ride for a rideshare driver caught in the middle. The apparent target, the passengers in the back seat. Let's get right to our Dramont Terry live in the loop. Dramont. Erica, that Lyft driver was pretty bruised in the face, and he refuses to get back behind the wheel. Now, although a few weeks have gone by, his attorney tells me that he is still too shaken to talk publicly about what you are about to see. But they insist that Lyft did not deliver on his promise to protect drivers in an emergency. We all say one. You're watching a Lyft driver who just picked up two passengers in Woodlawn. If you look closer, the women are slouching down in the back seat. The rideshare driver will soon find out why. Check out those headlights approaching. When the Lyft driver stops at a light, watch what happens as the vehicle pulls up on the side. Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? Can you go? They seem to have an understanding that somebody was after them. And of course, my client didn't have any knowledge of that until the shots came pouring in. By then, it's too late. The passengers ordered the driver to get away. Go! Go! Can you go fast? Can you go fast? Bryant Greening is the driver's attorney. He had a gunman chasing him, and he had nowhere really to turn. And they still coming. Turn right. With the vehicle still following, dash cam video shows the driver picks up his cell phone, but he does not call 911. The attorney says he called Lyft, like drivers are instructed to do in emergencies. Is because Lyft advertises to its drivers that it can share data with the police, the real-time location. The attorney insists that's the only reason the driver continues on dropping the passengers off to their destination. He believes police would be there when he arrived. Instead, a man waiting on the women beats the driver for not getting away quick enough. He asked for help and no help arrived. No, I did reach out to Lyft and they have not gotten back to us about their policy as to what drivers should do in an emergency. So we're still waiting to hear back from them. As for this criminal investigation, Chicago police have not made an arrest in the drive-by shooting or in the assault. Reporting live in the loop tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Jermont, thank you.